Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. Today's episode, I believe, is episode number eight. Today, we're going to make this bad boy behind me, Tinker's Construct Smeltery. We're going to automate it. We're going to do everything you see right here behind me. And it doesn't take long at all. All right, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and yes, please make sure you like. I need those likes. Need the love. Need the love. Let's get going. Ah! Okay, let's get started. What we're going to start out with over here, I have our place all set and ready to go. We are just going to vein mine the cobblestone out real quick. And I think I'm going to need... We'll need a few of these taken out too. I think here, here, and here. We'll get to that later. This is going to be... Yeah, we'll get to that later. Alright, so the first thing we need, let's talk about what we need so far. Let's go ahead and get one more of these out of here. Because I'm off by one. Alright, here's what we need for today's episodes to update. Actually, we're going to, yeah, this is what we need for today's episode. This is for our grout. A uh, stack and a half, basically. This sand, clay, one piece of gold, three pieces of uh, glass, seven stone, five red stones, four chest, and a bucket on top of the tree. All right, let's go ahead and get this stuff out of here real quick. Let's go ahead and take it all out. There we go. Let's make our grout real quick. Where's my crafting table? There we go. And first thing we do is put one here. And got 21. 21. Put one here. And we got 21. 21. And then 21 clay. And we get all the grout that we need. There's all our grout. We're going to go ahead and put that in here. Let's see how I can figure out how to get that into force real quick. Let's see. One, two, three, four. That works. So it's, let's do this. 32, 32, 32, 32. And then I need to break this into force real quick. There we go. One there, put one there, put one there. All right, so we got our grout going. While that cooks up, let's go ahead and make some other stuff that we need. We need transfer nodes. We actually need the transfer pipe to start out with, and then we're going to make a transfer node for fluids and transfer node for items real quick. So the first thing we have to do is make the transfer node for the actual pipes, and it's just like this, real simple. So first thing we need to make is some slabs. We'll take slabs there and there. Redstone in the middle and glass on the either side. We got our, our pipes. There we go. I'll put that, up, put that up here for now. And we need to transfer item for fluids. And that comes with the bucket. So we should have everything. I'm going to hit shift, enter. And I don't need two of these. I'm going to make sure I don't do two. There we go. I got one of those. And now we need to do the item one. Simple recipe. Now we got that, so we have everything we need to get this thing going, except for the seared bricks. We need those. So as soon as those get done, we'll come right back. All right, we're coming down to our last bricks of being seared. There we go. I just need to take all these bad boys out of here. That is a lot, a lot of bricks. There we go. One more. There we go. Let's go over to our crafting table and make everything we need real quick. I'm going to pull these up here. There we go. Uh, first thing is easy. Just go ahead and not take that out. Take this out. We are going to make a controller. That's just a circle. Really, really simple. Put that back in there. One smeltery controller. Need to do a, a lava tank or a, a tank. There we go. That's just got glass wrap, surrounded around it. Then we got our glass. So we got a controller and our glass. Now we need some drains. I want to make three of these. Okay, one, two, three. Three drains. Let's go ahead and take these out of here. Need a... Let's call it drain. Yeah, smelter drain. This is a faucet. I always call it drain. So that's, sorry about that. Alright, so we got one faucet. We got three drains. We got one tank. And we got a controller. We also need a basin, I believe it's called. And a pan. I'm not sure what this one's called. Let's make sure. Uh, casting table and a casting basin. There we go. 
And let's see, what do we need next? We need a bunch of bricks. I believe that's it. Let's go ahead and we'll do all these as bricks. And we'll save these for now and see what happens. Let's get this here, here. Now we're going to put our controller. Uh, can't do that right now. Let's go ahead and put our bricks down. And I'll put it in the center. We're doing three by three down here. It's all solid, and now we need to put a solid one right here. We're gonna put our tank one right here. Put our controller over. That's our controller. Yep, right here. And technically, we are ready. We can run now if we want it to. We have a three by three, but we have no way of getting it out. So we need to build one more level. There we go. And the rest is gonna be bricks. I need four more bricks. One, two, three. Don't know if I need those yet or not. Just save them. Okay. All right, now we have our Tinker's Construct smeltery. It's all set and ready to go. Need to put some lava in it. Let's see, let's get my bucket. I got lava right here. I don't know how much I have in there. At least I got two buckets. Let's do I have any more? Nope, nope. Let's throw some cobblestone in there while we're thinking about it. If not, I'll forget it later. There we go. Got that going. We're all set and ready to go here. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and put this in there now. We'll go ahead and get it going. And I am going to go ahead and take our casting table and our casting basin and we're going to put the table right here got the basin right here I'm going to put the faucet right here for now and we're going to go ahead and take one of these ingots put it in here because we'll, I'll show you why in just a minute I am going to go ahead and put one of my chests right here and I am going to put a chest right here and we're going to go down below real quick and wire this all together all right, come on, let's go down. Thank you. And let's get these down here now. I might have one chest. I'm not sure what that other chest is for. We'll get to it. There we go. All right, this is going to be an item. So we're going to collect it out of here and collect it out of here. We're going to take our transfer pipe. I'm hitting shift as I do this too. Now shift there, shift there, shift there. So stuff will automatically get collected and go into there. And we're going to take our other item one this fluid shift and right click there and then take the pipe you can just click on the cobblestone if you want and it goes right there there we go so now whenever we put something in here we'll automatically put it in there and i'll show you what that is just go ahead and get some of this stack it'll be good and what is so great about tinker's construct 16 ingots will now turn into 32 so we'll put them in there and it'll automatically be fed into here we have our gold and ready to go so we need to make our casting thing here so now we're going to go ahead this will make our ingots cast so there you go we have now an ingots cast there you go let's go ahead and put it back and what will happen now as soon as the iron gets smelted right here but I'll automatically come here. We'll automatically come out. Actually, let's get rid of the faucet now. We're done with that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that over here on the base inside. There we go. And on here, we're going to take the liquid one. Now, there are better pipes. We're going to get to those later. It's the, um, uh, let's see, fluid trans, I believe it's that one. No, fluid conduit, conduit. These are better pipes. We'll get to them as soon as we can get the uh, recipe for them. We just have to get a few things going. But for now, we're going to go ahead and use the fluid one here. We need the transfer pipe here. And so now it automatically come in here. There you go. You see it going. Once it gets cooled down, it'll automatically get put in here. So we're all set and ready to go. We have automated it. 
And let's do one other thing real quick. Just make a lever. Sometimes you need to control when it's going to come out. Say if you're going to take two metals and you want to make sure they, they mix before they get poured. So what you do is you can put a lever right here and you can turn this off and that gives this a redstone and it will not run until you're ready for it to go. So when it's on, there it goes automatically. All right, my friends, that is how we make a Tinker's Construct smeltery and automate it. I hope that's helped. Make sure if it does, you can give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And again, thanks, my friends, for watching, and have a great day. Bye, guys.